Yes, sir. We're back with another one. This is who that ate, formerly known as TJ Black Media. Back with another exclusive video right here. Wack 100 speaks on Lil Dirk getting arrested. Yes, you hear. He speaks on Lil Dirk getting arrested. But if you want to get into more details, make sure you stay tuned in this video. Watch from the beginning to the end. And if you know the channel, make sure you hit that like button. Spam that subscribe button. Drop a comment down below. And if you don't, make sure you don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss no exclusive content that we're being dropped on this channel because we drop exclusive content daily. Let's get into the video. It would have been too obvious to figure out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, some of these charges hold the death penalty, so somebody is screaming right now. Uh, oh, well, no, this is California. That happened. That's the shit in Beverly Hills. Yeah, they ain't playing. That's crazy. But what you saying, like, you saying, like, Bro, if somebody like, hit them, them the saying, finger? Yeah, them saying that the cars was written, rented with OTF credit cards and all that. Bro, they would have seen that day one. They run in place. Like they would have seen the motherfucker come from a rental car place, and then they would have went down there and seen who rented the motherfuckers, right? So, you know, I I don't even think they had any of that. Somebody didn't point them in the right direction. Fact. This shit <laughs> like this shit been that was like two years ago, wasn't it? When they year and a half, two years, some shit like that. So, ain't no way <clears throat> that they had to play that the crime scene and the plate gonna tell them it's a rental. And it took them this year to figure this type of shit out. Yeah, because I remember the news report. They had the description of the vehicle and everything off the rip. They had a description, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, right. You get what I'm saying? And I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but I'm going to say <laughs> it. OTF, Quando Rondo, King Von, Body, yeah. Keith. Oh, you, 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 now nah, this some shit. If he was in, Thug situation, his ass be cooked. That nigga gone, gone, bro. If I was still alive, I would be getting goddamn 10 life sentences right now. I think That's a fact, though. Yeah, y'all. So it's been reported that five Chicago gang members will task a little Dirk OTF accused of being hired to kill or unalive Quando Rondo in an LA incident where Lil Pab was murdered. Suspects face death penalty if convicted. Indictment alleges fights and rental cars were paid for with credit cards linked to OTF. That is about the dumbest shit ever. Uh, so you know yeah, what? That's, you know that's what? sloppy work. Tink, so, that means that that drug story and that reach over and not getting their man was all bullshit. Then, right? That was on bullshit. Somebody was on was bullshit, on bullshit because mm -hmm. remember the nigga, Quando the one said they reached over. There you go. Now, there you go. they got pictures up of the niggas firing from the alley. That's so fuck. Oh, oh, yeah, that's bad work. Quando was, Quando was keeping it gangster. So him crying for his man, him crying for his man outside of the car. How do you think about that now? Knowing that was for him. Mm. I mean, that's probably yeah. why he was crying, nigga. He knew that was for him. Right, right. Off the rip, nigga. You so, stop game banging in his home. Damn, bro. My fault. He did. After that, he did stop gang banging. You right. Yeah, he put yeah. a yeah, he put that his flag down that on that situation is crazy, bro. He Muslim now. Back up, Cam, back up, back up, Cam. Remember, they said he put his they said he put his flag down because it was the drug thing and it came from the I'm not gonna say the set, but that's what this word was. That's why he put the flag down. That's all bullshit. He said he came from the That was all bullshit. That's exactly. No, no, it didn't. Uh, you, right. can't bl you can't blame your own set for that now. He put the flag like down because he thought nah, Dirk up, was hold with up, his own Prince. people. Am I right or wrong? Nah, but, but Prince, because if you, Prince, if you paid attention to this, well, damn, I don't want to say no names, but when they was talking, to, when certain people was talking about it, right, they alluded to that they at least had some kind of knowledge of where it came from or something such and such so you know what i'm saying like i feel like he might not have been completely in the wrong but we got to see all the people that is attached to him before i you know what i'm saying i'm gonna let you in the back end though with about that prince because i don't i don't want to say nothing It's some dumb niggas, bro. Yeah, Credit cards attached to the fucking LLC. 
Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's that's some wild work, man. I ain't gonna lie. So, um, I remember I when a nigga say shot him. I seen sixteen shot him. He posted like a clip um, on top of this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and play it real quick, and then we can chop it up on the back end. I just remember when that nigga Flacco was talking about it. Y'all remember that shit? And who I don't remember that shit. But yo, go look back at the content after the little pop shit with Flacco and who he was alluding and involvement and all the other shit. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Okay, yeah, 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 I remember that shit. I remember that shit. Yo, get right. that content. Get that content yeah. real quick. Let's run that. You say you can't say that no more. Why? Oh yeah, because of wait no wait no no like they who died? You can't say that no more. Oh, because of FBG Cash? Or who? Nah, because little pop. Oh, what's that? But I'm just saying they just say you can't say that no more. That's the new term on uh, like no more Sly for Vine. Because of Lil Pop. Now after that incident though. Oh yeah. Sly for Vine. Right? Nobody... Yeah. They say you can't say that no more. Why? Oh yeah, because of wait, no, wait, no, no. Like they who died? You can't say that no Niggas more. Ain't catch it. Oh, because of FBG well, Cash? Hey, on me, oh. I didn't even know you was finna play this clip. Nah, That's cause exactly Lil Pop. Oh, that's exactly who I was talking about. Yeah. So that's the crazy part. I didn't even know you was finna play that clip thing, but that's who he was talking about. And that and then the nigga, if you pay attention to no jumper, the nigga brick baby every other, yo, yeah, I'm OTF. I fuck up. So <laughs> I'm just saying. He say that every fucking yo, Dirk, my nigga. So yeah, yeah. But Brick was in the studio with him that we Hello. Wait, come on, bro. And that's why they, and they looking right. for two more people too. So, so yeah, they only so, got three people. Oh, Squareville the drop the five. five was because he didn't get that sixty protection. They probably dropped it off him. I mean, probably so. Thought, yeah, he thought his own people got him. They must have dropped the protection. I agree. And I'm Luke. sorry, it may be all coincidence, bro, but. The shit with this nigga Brick Baby, it's too many fucking Ricos happening around this nigga. Cause no he claimed OTF. Nigga. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Cause he the OTF shit, the Pee Wee Longway shit, he always screaming MPF, Pee Wee Longway, my nigga. Woo, woo, woo. Look at bro. I'm just saying. Cam. <laughs> one for the week. Don't stop. Keep going. Nigga, I'm like, am I am I wrong though? Cause nah, he always jacking, right. he always jacking Pee Wee Long when he always said he brought sixties to Atlanta. Whoop de whoop, like it, it wasn't no sixties in Atlanta before Brick Baby. He said that out of his own mouth. Now, uh, motherfucking Quando Rana gets, uh, his man gets smoked to L.A. He dropping his flag saying the set, the set, uh, put, put a bag on him. But then, then they say it's OTF. Nick, come on, bro, it's right there. They put it all on No Jumper. I think Quando so, was trying to keep the feds out of it. He knew what was going on. Quando was trying to keep it solid. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. But then, hey, nigga. The rap game is dead, just like the streets. Real shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. Is my man, is he about to get a Rico? Hey, the, <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> the brick or the trick. No jumper. <laughs> hey, Adam <laughs> Rico. <laughs> that an unnamed coke aspirer offered them niggas money and music opportunities. Damn, that's crazy. Say that one more time slowly. An unnamed what? Unnamed coke aspirer offered them money and music opportunities. Unnamed coke. That's some crazy shit, bro. So please believe it's probably Who gonna be. That? That's what I'm saying. I, I, just, read that. Read that I just read that. I just read an article on the OTF shit. Yep. Yeah, that's right. in the 16th shot. Some of slick shit. I need that exact word. Hold on. Where you get? Put that link in the chat. Oh God, we need that link. Cause what? Oh my it's god. In that link up top. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. It's in that link up top. 
Hey, Alexa, play oh, here inside. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just gotta read it. It's all that shit that's posted at the bottom. Bro, I'm gonna be so blue, like for real. You about to put money on dark books? Uh, ten. <laughs> oh, for hey, real. Hey, hey, for real. Uh, uh, positive man. Muslim shit. To be honest with you, bro, that's probably I why they turned him over. My bad. Joe. She I mean, told me I don't be beside hey, him. It's it's par for the course, right? Did y'all not get the fucking old block five? I mean, come on. It's the same shit. His brother wasn't involved in that. What's the difference? I just think these niggas, like, these new niggas retarded, bro, like. No, for real, because why would you use fuck. a credit card? That's, that's a Like, you all, you, every nigga know you supposed to put <laughs> cash for the, if you, well, see, that's the thing. Around it now, you can't really put cash on a rental car now, so that's the fucked up part. You know. Nah, I can't. Oh, these dumb niggas, yo, these dumb niggas could have fucking made a Turo account, made a fake fucking uh, Instagram profile, Google whatever, made a Turo account, and made it through there. Niggas is dumb. That's that's a fact, Prince. There's ways around that, but nigga, bro, niggas really be on drugs. Like that's really what I think the problem is here. That like these niggas is not stupid. They be high. They be in another fucking universe off these fucking perks and all this other shit. Lean, and then it's like, yeah, nigga, I'm gonna go kill this. This nigga, yeah, nigga, we'll get a rental car, and the nigga pull out the fucking credit card out his wallet and slap it on the table. Come on, bro. That like, ain't got nothing yeah, to do with being shit. high, nigga. That's just stupid. What no, man? guap, niggas, bro, guap. Even if you a smart nigga, you know sometimes when you be high, and you, bro, you smoke a good ass blunt, us, and you do some dumb ass shit, and I ain't gonna say that dumb, but that's just a blunt, nigga. Imagine you was off the Yerkes, guap. Come on, man. If you was off that, that shit. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing no drug that I can't control. But I'm saying that's, you, that's you. You smart. You got morals and principles. So let me guess. So, they, so, so me what's guess that mean? They and they've been doing your team, right? But it's on. Mm. So they probably flew in camp, so they got the first name, last name, birthday, everybody that flew in, whoever bought the account, whatever credit card bought that. Yo, that was stupid That's as fuck, easy, friend. easy subpoena to fund the fucking, from the yeah. airlines to get that. Do, do y'all get they, that? They probably company? got them at the airport coming and picking up the rental car, got them on camera doing that. Right? Got them driving right. to the hotel, probably got them doing that. Come on, bro. This is wild. But like Wag said, the fact that, like, either they were sitting on this shit, because they already had a Rico cooking, or somebody pointed their ass in the right motherfucking direction. They said, hey, go look right here to such, 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 such. And then all of a sudden, it was a whole laundry list of motherfuckers because they put their whole credentials on, like, in plain sight. But well, man, that so, shit sound like it was already in the yeah, yeah, it's not like it was car back to the credit card. That's what I'm thinking, Guap. Oh. I feel like this, this shit was low key already in motion, and yeah, they were just fuck. sitting on it and letting all this shit build up. Cause you know the Rico, they let that shit slow cook. They let they Don't get all the motherfucking it. cases they can. That's a fact they right there. They definitely let that shit. Let they knew who did it when it happened. They can add but, more niggas to the Rico as soon as everybody start really telling. And then that's the thing because look, looking at the Young Thug trial, right? There's obviously, they're trying to treat gangs like the fucking mob at this point. So any way that they could try to loop in any gangs into a massive Rico, I feel like that's what a lot of these motherfuckers is going for. So regardless if you're going to say, oh, gang member, he said came from gang members of his same shit. So you got a whole bunch of different gangs swooped up in this shit. And then they let niggas keep talking. Like I like the fucking brick brick baby basically fucking told on himself. He let Flacco make a whole fucking video incriminating him and then got mad at him, but then act like it was a joke. Cause niggas like, oh nobody will ever find out. But niggas on the internet. But nigga. Cam, if we knew what the fuck was going on before, you know what I'm saying? I mean them niggas know. Them boys already know that. They can't figure the same shit that we just figured out. We knew that shit fucking two months ago. Yeah, they knew he that said that same shit. shit. Exactly the kip you was talking about. Exactly what he fucking said. T went ahead and pulled it. Like, come on, bro. Niggas ain't they got so niggas that sit around. Y'all know this. They got niggas that sit around watching Instagram pages, watching fucking YouTube videos. Look at the Young Thug trial. DJ Academics came up in the fucking Young Thug trial, bro. We live in a different era. We got niggas that sitting around watching YouTube creating criminal prosecution. 
there's people off of fucking that work YouTube. For, there's people that work for companies like Snapchat and whatnot that are actually so like, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Uh, this is like, what I learned about that. leaving it all out on the table. So this is what I learned about that. It's something different that they request from the uh, social media companies, right? You know how they subpoena the um, the, um cell phone companies to get your cell phone records? Well, they for the social media company, it's called, it's called a preservation request. So they can do that up to 90 days initially. So basically what that means is they, if they hit the social media companies with that preservation request, then you can't, even if you delete your account on your device, anything previous to that is already stored. They already got access to it. So no matter what you do, they can, do that. They can extend that for another 180 days with the actual warrant after that. So even if you, if they got that investigation for social media, they got 180 days of your account regardless to go back on. That's just facts. And that came out in the YSL trial camp. Person. Same, bro. You heard about that shit? Preservation request. And I didn't even know that was the name of it, but bro. So do you know when that shit changed? I remember at a certain point it was hard as fuck to get cell phone records and to be able to crack cell phone, get into social media, and all that shit. So when did that shit start changing? What you mean, nigga? When times change? Well, yeah. We, we live in a world of uh, information. How many times right. a day you get a motherfucker call your phone talking about, oh, we want to sell you solar panels. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, where right. they get your shit from? That's a fact. Hey, for some bullshit. That's a fact. Remember that net neutrality shit? Yo, you fucked me up. You said that, that what, double? What'd you say, Wack? Well, you telling me. One of the niggas said they did the shooting because they was offered a, a music deal. Yep. No, nah, that's crazy. Yo, that's wild. Look, 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 look at the link at the top. Look at the link at the top. At the link at the top, it says it. It Holy has it in there. That's from, from the Chicago Tribune. Nah, that's a different they, shit, bro. It said they that's, did it after the King Von, after King Von got killed. Yeah, they fired on it. They're indicted for murder for hire. Who? Basically, shit. Wait, wait, slow down. What'd you say? They got a murder for hire charge. Yeah, well, they do, of course. But All right, that's crazy. Hey, now they're gonna just go to the uh Young dog, the nigga that Juke gave the bag to, and he told on the other two. So them niggas are one of them five. They already got told on by somebody. We don't know who, but if it wasn't the nigga that offered them the bag, they gonna give him up. That's a fact. That's a fact. They gonna give him up. Hell yeah. Then depending on how solid he is, or because here go the thing, bro. Here's the thing. Who did you issue your company credit card to? Lil Dirt got an answer for that. Yeah. Listen, like, right. I hate to say it, but either Lil Dirt gonna keep it gangster. But everybody was saying that the shit Dirk just did at the concert was a clout move for the to, to try to make him look like he wasn't involved for the Rico. Now that shit looking real. You can't, bro. Community shit, nigga. Every major drug kingpin I know passed out turkeys. It's, there you go. That shit ain't got nothing to do. But what them long, them long people talking about? I mean, you say that, but the nigga was this. The nigga been this and this and this and since everybody been dead, and then all of a sudden now he want to be a fucking activist and put up everybody that's dead on a fucking screen, right before the Rico drop. I mean, oh but that that doesn't listen. That's clout for the people that don't matter. That's a fact, but also. People say Law the court of public opinion. Whack. 
That's what I'm saying. The court of public opinion. Uh, I mean, uh, the court of public opinion before they even get to court. You know what I'm saying? What that mean, nigga? That broke. The people don't stop a nigga from getting charged. Of yeah. course not, but yeah, perception is everything. Crazy, but ain't got nothing to do with but perception is everything. Ain't everything. When you dealing with the court of law, no, the fuck it ain't. <laughs> Yo, yeah. we got a body over here. We got yeah. the rental car here, o OTF credit card. We got five niggas. Three of them said these niggas hired them. The nigga that hired them said he was only able to offer them a deal because he talked to the boss. And he said this. So, and all this was motivated behind this body over here. It ain't got nothing See, to do with it. I don't give so a fuck evident. about how many kids he hugs, how many turkeys he passed out. I don't give a fuck. That shit don't mean nothing when you get in that court. Cam, you ever fought a case? No, nah, look, whack. I'm speaking. Yeah, I'm, spe I'm speaking purely from hey, a oh, standpoint. No, yeah, listen. Listen, I'm playing devil's yeah, advocate, right? Because at the same, hold up, relax. Uh, <laughs> I'm speaking. I'm playing devil's advocate. advocate. No, but listen, because everybody's saying the same shit about the Diddy shit. Everybody's saying why they leaking all this shit about Diddy. Motherfuckers is trying to paint a picture. That's what the, the whole point is. But, People, you gonna paint a picture before you take it to court. No, now you switching it. Now yeah. you switching it. Now you you were just saying <laughs> all the good shit he's doing. Now you going on my side. I'm telling you. I don't give a fuck about whatever he didn't did or post photos or the key to the city. That shit ain't gonna mean nothing when he get in the box and them people doing what they doing. No bullshit. It, I just feel like you know he like you said he doing it for the people that don't really matter, but that's the it's the clout move. That's yo, the whole point. Yo, Cam, He's trying to yo, make Cam, everybody. Cam. I know. I There's understand nothing in the court matter. of law that says how much clout does he have. Is how much evidence is against you. I understand that from the the court standpoint. I'm speaking purely on how motherfuckers were saying. He trying to appear to be a good guy in the court of public bro, 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 opinion. Bro, bro, so what is that? It don't got shit to do. But all it this don't got shit to do with the court of That, that don't, go out don't out mean your facts, facts. That don't mean shit. At all. Yeah, all that shit go out the window. That shit don't matter. Yeah, like. But y'all, hey, y'all think that nigga going down? Like, be like honestly, do you think if they too close, bro? Because that's just retarded. Like that's. How you how you have niggas use a credit card to attach to your company to commit a murder? Like that's a setup or something. The question about it, though, Cam, you probably had no idea they did it like that. Hey, I yo, that's the fucked up part, right? Cause I feel like Dirk low key is removed from that shit. Dirk is trying to be the voice of the people. Dirk raising his motherfucking twenty seven kids. Dirk making music. Dirk probably not calling all them shots. Not, but he got a bunch of not too fucking much, Cam. <laughs> but I'm just saying. But I just say I know that's your baby daddy take. I'm sorry, but um, you know what I'm saying. Like the nigga is busy doing other shit. At a certain point, he nigga too busy. He not involved in all the politics and all the every move. He probably got a couple niggas that you know hey, Cam, make them you know, talk. This is why non street niggas shouldn't talk street shit. That's a fact. Just I was it, waiting for that. Far whack. Everything you I was, say sound crazy as fuck. I was waiting for that whack. <laughs> I was waiting. You sound crazy as fuck. He sound like he lost to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he. I don't know where this nigga at. This nigga spiraled. First he was in Jupiter, now Saturn, like nigga. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and so everybody can play devil's advocate with me. All right, all right, you got but what are you? I'm just, just not devil's bro, We're talking just, about. Yo, listen, we just, it's content. We're, we're just, talking about. Listen to me, Cam. The fucking shit says the shooter said he was offered a record deal. Right. To commit the act. The cards is rented with OTF cards. The target in the car is involved in a known beef with OTF. What's the devil's advocate part, Ken? <laughs> Where's the devil's advocate part? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. That's, That's crazy. crazy. You get That's what I'm crazy. telling you? 
Yeah, well, I hear you. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, my nigga, like, you got the, now, the telling ain't gonna stop. Whoever contracted them, if they that solid and say, Lil Dirk, you know nothing about it, I called it. Well, how you got an OTF card? Well, I'm an employee. Also, this is a criminal organization. Wag, that's what I was. That's what I was getting at. Wag. Right. No, you wasn't. <laughs> bro, no, I literally. Right. Wag, I you literally was on the said, other side of it. No, talking wag, about I literally said he got and other people involved. All right, never mind. You got it. What do you mean he got other people? What are you talking? You just said. You, you just, well, all right. So boom, boom right you, back, right? You, you just said, said. You said the popularity vote. You said, you know, people looking at him in a good light. I'm like, nigga, the evidence is not. A, not a good light. No, the evidence is not a good light. Right. I hear you. But what I'm saying. All right. Never mind. All right. Go ahead. No, I'm listening. I want to no, hear. What I'm saying is. Right. Again. Okay. So we, we, we're talking empirically here. Right. I'm not talking about literally physical evidence. And yes, they have physical evidence. Right. All right. So they have very clear evidence that the credit cards are associated to OTF. Right. Just like you said, if they ask the nigga where you get the fucking credit card from, then they have to give a name. Or they fucking necessary? They can perjure themselves, right? If they if they lie, they don't have to ask. If they know, if they know, okay, they don't have to ask. It. So if they do ask, have you it, ever rented a car? Yes, I've rented a car. Okay, when you give them a company card, you know what else you got to give them? I've never done it with a company. Okay, gotcha. That's the ID. All right. You have to right. give them identification. Right. On your, that your ID, card, right? The name on the credit card has to match the identification. Right. So then, you like you it, said, man. now like hold you... on, wait, wait, no, we ain't done. Company card of OTF, identification of driver's license has to match the name on the company card, right? Right. Who owns the company and who has to add a signer to provide the company credit card? Right. Mr. And then how it goes up the ladder into the criminal organization, like you said. Now, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. The guy that rented the car is he an exec employee of in the music industry? Is he does he has any credentials showing this shit? If not, they have to go into that company and see who has this type of power and say so. That can make these things happen. Right. You follow me, Cam? Yes, I'm following you. Yes. Okay. Now, first thing they're going to do, but all five people, you know the first thing they're going to do, Cam? They're going to identify their OTS. You know the first way they're going to try to identify that? Cavity search. Body search of tattoos. There's a great chance because people like to sow their loyalty. You know what they do, Cam? They go get tattoos. And then you know what they're going next, right? They're going to social media. And then song they're gonna, lyrics. And then... They're going to see. No, no, I ain't even got there, Cam. Social media. Hashtags. Gang signs. All the shit they doing with the YSL trial. Are you on the block that has been identified as that block, right? <laughs> then they go to lyrics. Let's see. If little boom shaka laka been mentioned in the song as a slider. Right. Just like they did with Woody. Ooh. I'm breaking it down for you, my nigga. Because I'm watching. See, I've been watching they play on how they get niggas. Okay? If little boom shaka laka mentioned over here, you know, and this album as a slider. Oh, he's mentioned in the album. Watch this, Cam. Whose album is he mentioned in? Oh, okay. Wait. Hold on. He mentioned him. In the album, but he's not a rapper and he's not an exec, but he has access, he has a card in his name, and this has happened. And these dudes are saying they were promised an album deal, but this dude's not a rapper. But two of the other dudes do have little rap songs up. I wonder who promised them. Well, first of all, who authorized this dude to get a company vehicle, company car? Without saying no names, we can only imagine, right? 
Let's say it was a female authorized it. They go to the female. Cam, what are they going to ask the female? Why did you give little Boom Shaka Laka a company car from OTF? That's what they're going to ask her, right, Cam? Right. What do you think she's going to say? They probably have some type of relationship or something, or she doesn't know. No, 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 no. You think she's going to say she makes those decisions? Right. Or you think she's going to say she follows orders? She follows orders, and she's going to give up somebody's name, and then it's going to go. And it's going to keep going up the ladder till eventually it gets to who, Cam? The man at the top. Okay. Now. We know about all the abundance of 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 motive. You you we don't have to argue motive points, do we? Nah, we don't argue King Von over there dead. This nigga was there. His man did that. We ain't got all the motives. We don't got to argue that, right? You kind of like know it's a lot of motive there, right? Or do we got to wake no, it up? No, we definitely okay. Got you got motive. okay, okay. Now, all right. So motive, we established how it could go up the ladder. Right. Okay. So now comes the who is this man to you? Why does he have a company card? This nigga better have some type of credentials. This nigga better he better know how to file something. He better. You understand what I'm saying? So you telling me this man has right. no type of credentials? This man has no type of credentials. He's riddled with tattoos. He's been mentioned in three songs that Boom Shaka Laka slid over here on motherfucking this street. And he slid on this motherfucker. And you, you might send him again, all this shit. You authorized him to get the car. And he took that company card, which belongs to you, and rented a vehicle and went over here and committed this act, which we say is retaliation. You know what? all this other motive they have okay there you go. now you got the defense attorney jumping up saying but look he put everybody faces on a, on a, on a hoodie but look he's now this religion but look Cam, you think them people are gonna give a fuck about that shit the fuck? that don't shit me don't mean nothing <laughs> this all i'm telling you Bro. That's like me <laughs> coming out and saying I'm Buddhist tomorrow. Like, what the fuck does that mean about nothing? If I killed three people yesterday, that don't mean. Ah, you get. <laughs> Whack! I got it the now whole time, bro. I was just, bro. Come on, man. No, you. I'm just trying to like, li- right? I was trying to lie. Yo, people be slow. Whack! I asked the dumb yeah, questions. You was the people. slow nigga, bro. He had to break. Oh, it down. I asked the yeah, dumb that questions wasn't for people, dumb people, bro. Keep it real, bro. No, no, just relax, bro. Real. Y'all gotta chill, bro. I'm not a dumb Damn, nigga. Damn, take it on the chin, <laughs> nigga. You didn't. <laughs> Let me tell you that. And listen, whether whether it was intentional or non-intentional, it was great content. It grows another 15, 20. That part. And if you didn't know, now you just learned something. Now y'all niggas pay attention. You, you, you are. You are openly square niggas, so now openly you, square is crazy. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. Nothing wrong with that at all, man. I'm openly I'm square alive, niggas, man. Man, yo, Openly square niggas should beat their chest, bro. For real. Hey, for sure. Shit, I'm a civilian now, absolutely. That's a real good shit, life, bro. man. I, Have a good job. I don't I love my you life. Know, I tell the niggas. Right. See, when I say square, because y'all walk the points. Y'all don't be in the inner workers of the bullshit. So y'all don't know that, you know what I'm saying? That's that, that's that. That ain't really your life, because a lot of y'all, not saying none of y'all, y'all don't be getting in no trouble. You know what I'm saying? He don't be, y'all don't be really getting in no trouble and shit. Even though, Cam, I do remember you you was gangbanging 20 crib, but I don't know what that was about. <laughs> we'll talk about it one day. I don't know what that was about. I don't know. That's way in long. Hey, man, evolution is a motherfucker. I don't know if Snoop Dogg inspired you. I don't know what happened. Hey, man, people can grow. People can learn different walks of life. Uh, Yeah, that's good. But I'm just saying it's like, that's bad. And I'm going to tell you another thing that's bad. Where uh, where the homie at? They investigated Young Thug for 10 years. That's what I'm saying. Ah, Damn. Cause niggas been bro when when I, I when Thug got arrested, 
They ain't been on this shit, you know. I was living Maybe. in Atlanta when Thug got arrested. My man, one of my homies down there grew up on Cleveland with them niggas. He flat out told me what the fuck was going to happen two years ago. He was like, yo, they going down because of what shit, the shit happened with Nud, the YFN shit. Like, he broke down the whole shit. He knew, already. they already knew. Everybody down there knew what the fuck was going on. It's not a secret. These niggas can't prove it. it clearly, the DA office is trapped. Not to say that, that, um, you know, they ain't been on them. You know what I'm saying? They just telling us today. For sure. But that's the crazy part. They had 10 years to work on this bullshit ass case. Them niggas, that's crazy. How the fuck you take 10 years to present this bullshit? Like, y'all niggas was going home. Motherfucker, y'all thought y'all had a slam dunk case. Y'all was fucking well, it really rolling up blunts. Bullshit. It really wasn't a bullshit case. What all the people they had telling, and Woody and all them niggas would have cooperated, thug ass be cooked. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, like, that's the thing, right? They realized that if they recanted their statements and went back against it, they didn't have no solid evidence. Obviously, the lawyers coached them enough to say, No, Woody just up. realized, Woody realized he had him in the trick bag. Right, that's what I'm saying. If he wouldn't, have, look, I'm going to be real. The worst thing they did was led with Woody. They should have did him last. But what, I mean, what was he really going to tell on? What thug really do besides run a car? Yeah. Nigga, what you mean? You can't run a car, nigga, and he the head of the Rico. Bro, nigga, that you makes you a, that makes that's it a what criminal the Rico is. Nigga, you are the motherfucking leader of the You the nigga who made the call. That's the same thing. The Rico there. was designed because they couldn't catch the mob bosses getting their hands Because all them so, niggas do is make a call. The mob bosses just say, do this. Hold on, Cam. Stop talking over me. If they did it because you told them to or the bosses under them told you to, it, whatever they did was just like you did it. Yeah, that's where the Rico come from. You don't have to be the one. Your alibi, you was at home, okay, having Christmas dinner. That's cool. But this motherfucker that did the shooting said that his boss told him, and his boss is is you. So whatever he did is like you did it. So if you got Woody saying. Yeah, we went over there and shot the barber shot up. Thug called that shot. This is why when Gunner said, yes, YSL is a gang, it fucked everything up. Yeah, thing. All it takes is that one lead up, that that one rung up the ladder, and if they can prove it. It's that's a fact, Cam. Yeah. That's why I, th I honestly I think Rico is bullshit. But like, what can we do? What can people really do to combat it? It was designed made? for you, bro. It was designed. The Rico was designed for the Italian mafia. Correct. Because all the mob bosses, they yeah, don't. Now, in the room I'm not shit. saying. I'm not saying they're all the way extinct, but in this day, they're not operating the way they used to if they are operating back in those days. So guess what? Now they're going to go for the game. We, be we become them. That's what I'm saying. That's the next closest thing to quote-unquote organized crime is games. Nigga, in 2001, I believe, they classified street gangs as terrorists. Oh, yeah, oh, I remember a, that. I remember a, hearing about that. Fact, they, this is the why if they the say, yeah, they can give you five years for a robbery, right? But if they can prove that you did the robbery for the betterment of the gang, they give you a 10-year gang enhancement on top of the five. That's crazy. God damn, bro, 10 years. Hell yeah, gang and ass. Hey, and then with the terrorist shit you were just talking about, where didn't they say something about y'all like being in a, a, a group of people out there somewhere that that shit count? Oh, no, they was putting uh, injunctions on people saying you couldn't be no more than two or three of y'all together at one time.
But they was doing that to a lot of the niggas in the projects. So if you get caught more than two, three of y'all, they charge y'all. And then if you on your grandma, mama, auntie lease, because you got arrested because of that, they go ahead on and kick them out. That's how they was getting the gang members out the projects. Damn. That's crazy. They coming up with all types of things. <laughs> For real, bro. But I remember when they first arrested them OTF dudes, Doug Mama was saying, <laughs> look out for dirt. She was saying that shit. Doug Mama was saying. Doug Mama said what? No, nah, Doug Mama, when, when they arrested them in that OTF case, when they arrested them, she used to be hinting that, that dirt was going to be next type shit. When they arrested who and what OTF? No, I, I'm talking about when they got him for the murder for dirt. So, I mean, he's saying LBG dirt, um, Nug, duck. mama. Oh, so yeah. Oh, duck. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that would have made the most sense for her to say it was them because that, you know, that was. Nah, she be contradicting herself. One minute she want to act like she with the gangster, next minute she on some. Other shit, that's why I be like, you be on some bullshit. She trying to act like that nigga Duck is innocent. That's the fucked up part. Like, they was... I mean, one minute she the gangster mama, and you know what it is. Next minute it's like, go get her. <laughs> my son was fucking y'all up, but my son dead. All y'all gotta go to jail. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, that kind of shit. That's crazy. Well, that's what they say. A lot of this shit started home, man. Imagine that's his mama how she act now. Imagine how she was when she was younger raising them kids. That's a fact. Apple tree. Shit, you know. A lot of these motherfuckers don't have a chance with parents like that. Because who, who going to teach you morals and discipline if it ain't your mama and your daddy? So I mean, we ain't looking at her to be a parent anyway. She was in the streets with it, so shit. Yeah. Exactly. So oh, no. you, you in the streets like, being a parent. Stop playing, stop playing gangster mama and then civilian mama. Like, you know what I'm saying? You one yeah. or the other. Because I know for a fact, if that was my mama, my mama would be, he was out here fucking up, and he deserved to get what he got. I'm going <laughs> to pray for him, but, hey, that nigga was out here talking about dead bitches and all this shit. That ain't my son no more. He, hey, shit. My mama is a fucking God-fearing Christian woman. She would have, hey. I miss my son, but that nigga got what he got. Her famous line, you reap what you sow. What's done in the dark will come to light. Crazy. Man, this this is crazy. I can't believe that nigga said that. One of them niggas said we was offered a motherfucking record deal. That is fucked up. That's different. Oh, yeah, that's wild. That's it's not, it's not even no guarantee, nigga. Like, you can suck. He's like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> it's like, come sign the death row, but you got to smoke a nigga first. Like, Go kill crazy. a nigga. What the fuck? I'm going to tell you what's even crazier about it. That nigga probably ain't even stamped that. The other nigga just told a nigga that. That Damn. is crazy. That's what I put in the chat. Whack, if they got the contract oh, and yeah, shit, after the murder, that's going to be bad work, too. Oh, that's bad like that. work. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo. That's going to be nasty work. They got their contracts on after that, too. Oh, yeah, that's bad. That's ugly. And then depending on who name on that contract. That, wait, wait. And mm-hmm. don't let them get a cash advance on the contract. Oh, uh, because uh, that's... Oh, they going to say that. That's paid. That whole motherfucking company, <laughs> everything over with at Ooh. that and let them have Let them have any correspondence on the IG, any type of back and forth communication on that. Mm. Nasty. Hey. Only the fed yeah, niggas can't get, get off the of IG. I know that. Man, who, bro. Who was it that said that? What'd you say? Who was it that said that on stand? 
Prince. Yeah, yeah what up, Ghost? Uh, no, I mean, like, who said who said about the record deal thing? I had missed that conference. Oh, one of the, one of the, I guess one of the shooters. Was it Slime Life, Shotty? No, no, nigga, we talking about OTF. Hey, oh, shit, no. oh, We ain't even on no fucking <laughs> Nigga, they just hit another indictment. They, they arrested five niggas who did the killing, and Beverly Hills, the one with Quando Rondo, was in the car. OTF, the cars was rented with an OTF credit card. And one of the niggas said they did the hit because they was promised a record deal. God damn. Oh, they cool. Probably couldn't even rap. Yo, I bet them dumb niggas thought they had a show out there and and they was going to cover it with the business shit. (laughs) Niggas niggas is dumb. (laughs) Bro. Somebody probably told on them niggas, man. They had to tell on them niggas, bro. You know somebody snitching, man. You know that. Remember, we're going to find out at the preliminary hearing. That's when that lead detective is going to testify to what he was told. They can produce hearsay evidence. So that's all of that CI, all of that CI shit come out in that preliminary. We're going to get that work. Stand by. Y'all know how that shit go, bro. Because right now, a boy said it was, what, a cooperator? A co-conspirator? Co-conspirator, my dog. Right. Unindicted co-conspirator. Now that lead detective is going to have to sit there and say exactly that. He don't have to say his name at the preliminary, but he's going to have to basically let everyone know what that really is. Go into more deep detail on what that is. Who is that person? What did he tell you? What evidence did he give up? What's he willing to do? Wait for the preliminary, y'all. Yeah, this shit is bad, bro. It's, they finna shut all this shit down. Yeah, ain't no more rap. Ain't no more music. Niggas finna start doing gospel, bro. They're going to be R&B artists. <laughs> now, that'll be crazy. I mean, they got Diddy, though, so shit. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. They got all that hype around Diddy, but um, no hype around... Um, what's that uh, company? Abercrombie? Is it Abercrombie? Yeah, the Abercrombie, Abercrombie and Finch, Finch, dude. Yeah, you know, he you had his see, little... You don't see all that hype around them, and they say that whole see, organization is doing that shit. There you go with your (laughs) black shit. (laughs) Y'all see, like, bro, see, I made a point today on the Menendez Mm -hmm. brothers. Right. On some pro-black shit. If you read it, it says X. He's not over there no more. No, I ain't talking about the, uh, it ain't really pro-black. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel if you made it this far. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, spam that subscribe button, drop a comment down below, let us know what you think about the video. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any content that's being dropped daily. And have a great evening.